Hi folks and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Simple and delicious is my motto and I'm really excited today because I'm doing something in my wheelhouse that I love is making soup. I love making soup. I make it all year long but it is getting close to the fall time and that's a great soup season, fall and winter. I'm often asked by friends and neighbors how to make soups because I love to make big batches of it and share it with friends, family and neighbors. Well today that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our own homemade chicken broth and then make a beautiful chicken vegetable soup. Let's get at it. I'm gonna show you my version of whipping up a nice chicken broth. You know, if you don't have four hours, I am retired. I'm feeling pretty lucky about that. And if you don't have four hours to spend, don't feel bad if you got to buy the store-bought chicken broth. It's tasty. I use it lots of times too. Get the low sodium one, add your own salt, make it your flavor. But making soup is like a blank canvas. Add what you like, take out what you don't like. It's fun to make soup. Make it your own. Let's get to the broth. noticed I added some turmeric while I was building my chicken broth. It has many good health benefits. You can read up about it. And it also gives the soup a nice rich yellow deep color. It's perfect for making your broth. Try it out. You might like it. So I have my four liters of chicken stock. I refrigerated it overnight and when you take it out it's kind of jelly. That's exactly what you're looking for. The collagens in the bones, that's where that comes from. It turns it to a jelly-like. That means you've successfully made a good stock. If there's a little bit of fat on top, you can skim it off, but the rest, the jelly-like, is all the goodness. So we're starting off with two cups of onions, finely chopped. two cups of carrots. Everything here is finely chopped up. This is celery, as you can see, everything's finely diced. That's two cups as well. One cup of spring onion. One cup of frozen peas. I find if you use the canned peas, they get too mushy. So one cup frozen peas and alternatively with corn I use the canned corn. The frozen corn gets mushy. I like using canned corn and I love corn in my soup. So I'm adding two small cans of corn. For our seasoning I've got one tablespoon of poultry seasoning 
and one tablespoon of oregano. One teaspoon of salt and pepper. Now, if you're using the store-bought stock, you could add some garlic. I put some garlic in while I was cooking my stock, so that's an option for you. Now, I've got my, oh, this is about three and a half cups of diced up chicken that I got from my chicken that I cooked in my stock. I'm not going to put that in until the last 10 minutes of cooking, as well as some greens. I have some bok choy here, which is a Chinese cabbage. You can use spinach. So I'm going to put a couple of cups of that in at the end of the cooking, the last 10 minutes. And if you don't have the chicken ready, in the last 10 minutes of cooking the soup, you can put in three or four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Take them out, dice them up into cubes, or shred them with a couple of forks back into the soup. Let's get this on the stove. We're going to bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for a good 40 minutes. Over to the stove we go. Our soup's been on now for 40 minutes. Time to add our chicken. And our bok choy. Another 10 or 15 minutes and we'll be ready to serve it up. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. I hope you get to try this out with your friends and family. Like I always say, get creative, make it your own. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. You can reply on YouTube to me. Maybe you have some good ideas on how you put your soups together. I'd love to hear. Well, now I get to give it a taste. Oh, lots of chicken. The broth is beautiful. Lots of veg. You're going to love it. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya.